I'm curious nga, Father, how do you train as an exorcist? Eh? Kunwari, baguhan pa lang kayo. Surely, hindi kayo pwedeng sumalang kagad right away, di ba? So, so, may parang OJT yes. ba kayo? Or? Uh, actually, you're first to... Uh, the most important thing is you really have to have that call. Uh, mm. That means we don't just get anyone. We have to make sure that the person ay, talagang has really uh, an attraction and it is really attract, mm. an attraction from God. It's a simple curiosity or sensationalism. But really, mm. there's a desire to help people who they see are in need and they want to learn how to help these people. And secondly, after that, then they we 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 give them talks so that they have mm. the theology nila ay maayos because of course if their theology is not uh, not orthodox, then uh, they may they will always come up uh, you know they will be open to retaliation or they will not address the issue properly. So uh, after that, then mm. we ask them to observe during extra systems, and until some time we ask them to join uh, uh, the playovers uh, mm. by. doing the prayers okay first simple prayers until they graduate when to solemn exorcisms if they're given the faculty by the, their bishop or from manila our bishop mm. the archbishop mm. i i heard it is a requirement for exorcist to to be an example of holiness and piety so uh, my question i guess is why is this so and how hard is it to maintain these aspects in life Well, actually, the call to holiness is for everyone. It only becomes, we may say, a bit uh, uh, necessary in the midst of exorcism because you're fighting now. You're not dealing with a sickness of mm. the soul or sickness of the body. You're dealing with a being that is totally evil. Oh. At talaga, his, main tar- his main goal is to destroy and attack. Okay? To deceive, mm. destroy, attack, okay? and, and, and kill the soul, if not the body. And therefore, you're, you're going up against a, a superior being than man. Mm. And therefore, holiness of life is very important because this is your armor. So mm. and many ex- almost all exorcists to enter the ministry, they are in a sense forced to become holy because they cannot keep, they have to make sure their armor is intact. Because those exorcists who did not focus on that, they fall into all kinds of uh, retaliations. And uh, many of the a number of them who, who, who desired to enter, sadly, some of them fell away because they couldn't mm. hack the retaliation. I mean, they couldn't, in a sense, uh, in sobra sobering attacks okay, that they Mm-mm. couldn't anymore keep up. You know, and they saw that they were, uh, they'd rather go back to uh, the, the ministries that they are more used to. Mm. Mm. I, I, I'm curious, Father, how, how common is. demonic possession here in our country how how many do we get in a year well actually uh if for example each day we may have around three cases of of uh coming to us uh-huh. uh so maybe within a week we have around uh, 15 cases usually mga dalawa oh. doon ay possess okay? dalawa tatlo mm. possess mm. Uh, because here in the philippines we are we are people who are very We may say open to the spirit world. Madali tayong uh, sapian at uh, we are we we have so many doorways in our country to open up mm. ourselves to the diabolical spirit, mm. and okay. therefore uh, you know this becomes a, uh, a vulnerability. Uh, so the devil makes use of that to. I'm sure you have heard a uh, dami nating news. Um, uh, uh, oh. We hear a lot of. I'm sure you know even people who experience possession. Yeah, yeah. Sa sarili, or even mass possession occurs. So it's very common actually now in our country. Mm. I guess later I'll ask about the doorways na nabanggit mo. But uh, I, I'm, I, I think I, I read your bio that you have the a master's degree in psychology. Yes. Is, is it a requirement for exorcists to have a psychology degree or does it help at least determine if it's a demonic possession or a mental health problem on your side at least? Yes, actually, it helped me a lot. Actually, that's the, the reason it's, I was chosen first uh, mm. when I was in Quiapo. It's not because I'm holy or anything. No? It was because I had a degree in... I was the only, basically, uh, priest in Manila who had a degree in psychology, a master's. Mm. So mm. The, the bishop said, uh, you are... Ikaw na lang na dyan because para you can help. It can help. Mm. You can help. Uh, it will help you diagnose better. And it's mm. been a big help. But you don't need mm. a degree in psychology. All you need mm. is to be able to know what how, we may say some basics on on the on what can be 
psychological manifestations, which are actually, and how to test that these psychological manifestations are not simply psychological because the devil mm. hides in science. Mm. The devil hides behind psychology because pag alam na niya that he's about to be, uh, uh, he's threatened by an exorcism, then he tries to manifest that the, in a way that seems psychological. So mm. hindi sapat na you know what are the what is you know, what are the psychological disorders or or maladies, but dapat alam mo rin na how to make sure that you're able to draw out and unmask mm. the devil hiding behind the, psycho- the psychological. Mm. In other words, mas gusto niya na hindi siya napapansin yes. para mas mas matagal siyang nandun sa tao. Because of course, when he attacks Uh-oh. us, he, 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 his main tactic first is deception. So Uh-oh. that it, pag miserable ng buhay mo, your life is really, you're really seeming with bad luck. And there's no such thing as bad luck. Okay? Everything is under mm-hmm. divine providence. The person gets angry uh-huh. at God because he has no one else to blame. He doesn't uh-huh. see where, he's, where the attack is coming from. Okay? So the first thing is that he will always destroy from within in a very hidden mm-hmm. way and not manifest his presence. That's uh-huh. why uh, when he has an inkling that an ex- a priest is coming in as an exorcist, then he will try to manifest that this is something psychological. Although oh, okay. I wouldn't say that everything is black and white. That means it can be half psychological and half spiritual. Okay? Mm-hmm. That means because any mm-hmm. a spiritual weakness, emotional, relational, even physical weakness, the devil can aggravate it. Okay? So mm-hmm. it can be 50-50 yan. Hi, this is Jay Aruga of the Jay Aruga Show. If you like what you just saw, please consider subscribing and smash that like button. We'll need all of your help to take back the culture from this ideological colonization of the West. Thank you.